back in 1922, one of the world's most famous pharaohs was discovered. During a privately funded excavation by Lord Carnarvon, Howard Carter discovered the completely intact tomb of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun. The artifacts retrieved along with the well-preserved body of the pharaoh helped to provide a clear image during the reign of Tutankhamun and life for ancient Egypt. Going back a few years ago, it was announced the priceless barrel mask of King Tut was ruined. Egyptian media said that East Museum employees were reported to the authorities after the botched reattachment of the beard on the barrel mask. This incredible relic was broken off the mask and was quickly glued back on by museum staff. It was soon noticed that the blue and gold braided beard didn't look right and that something had happened to it. There was worry that this was going to affect tourists coming into Egypt. After all, King Tut is perhaps one of the most famous ancient relics Egypt has, and the fact that staff wasn't looking after the priceless king didn't go down well. There was public outrage with people wanting answers for what happened. It was announced shortly after the accused were to face charges of negligence. It's been said that it was an accident, and that the beard had been knocked off because it was already loose. The beard weighs 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds. Prosecutors then said the workers started to panic and then tried to quickly cover up what had happened. After investigations, it was reported the workers used large amounts of glue to fix the mistake. It turns out though the glue wasn't the correct glue for this job. The employees made four attempts to reattach the beard and also tried to remove evidence of what they had done. One of the prosecutors said the following about the event. Ignoring all scientific methods of restoration, the suspects tried to conceal their crime by using sharp metal tools to remove parts of the glue that became visible, thus damaging the 3,000-year-old piece without a moment of conscience. Incredibly, some of those who aided in the botched job was a former director of the museum and a former director of restoration. However, professionals were brought in to restore the barrel mask, and officials are happy with the work they did. The barrel mask can now be seen at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Whales are some of the most incredible creatures on our planet. Growing to sizes of up to 30 meters, the blue whale is the largest animal to have lived on our planet. When it comes to their diet, the blue whale is known to primarily consume krill, but these giants will also consume small crustaceans. In order to maintain their diet and bulk, these whales are mostly found in areas rich with high concentrations of krill. One such place is the Arctic Ocean. These giant marine mammals inhabit all oceans across the planet and are known for their calm behavior. While listening to underwater recordings, the researchers couldn't understand why the cores have been getting deeper. This has been happening over the course of several decades, but when the audios are played, the researchers could immediately tell that something was off. At first, it was thought this could have been a regional thing, but it turns out this was not the case. After hearing these changes in a few whales, other researchers decided to listen to other audios that had been recorded, and it turns out they picked up on the same thing. Different species of whales have started to change their course. According to a publication in the Journal of the Acoustical Society of America, the rate at which the voices are changing is much faster than researchers thought. One theory that was put forward was that this was happening to whales that matured in age, saying that the cries of the whales developed as they did. However, this idea was put aside when it was discovered there was inconsistencies. Researchers then decided to start looking at the surroundings in which the audio files had been collected from. Some argued the whales were changing due to the environments they were in, making some put forward the idea that an increased amount of noise pollution is the reason they are changing. One idea was that the whales had to change their vocalizations in order to be heard. This is backed up by proof as well. The oceans are more busy than ever and researchers are blaming this on the increased marine traffic. Over the years, there has been a massive increase in whale beachings, and some have made the connection that something is disrupting the whales. 
As of right now though, scientists are yet to identify why whales are changing their songs. Going back a month ago, Tom DeLong said the following on his Twitter account. Everyone will know the reality soon, and unfortunately it's just not something to laugh at. It's pretty unnerving with some bad news, some good news, and with that in mind, all we can do is deal with it honestly and openly. Now we may know what he was referring to. It turns out that in a recent statement by Steve Justice, who is the Chief Operating Officer of To The Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences, says how the organisation got their hands on exotic properties. He said the following about the object. The structure and composition of these materials are not from any known existing military or commercial application. They have been collected from source of varying levels of chain of custody documentation. So we are focusing on verifiable facts and working to develop independent scientific proof of the materials properties and attributes. In some cases, the manufacturing technology required to fabricate the material is only now becoming available. To The Stars Academy said the following on their Twitter account. To The Stars Academy has acquired multiple pieces of metamaterials that are reported to have come from advanced aerospace vehicles of unknown origin. We're enthusiastic about its potential use, and how it could further our mission for discovery and innovation. As you can imagine, many people are excited about this news. If it turns out to be true, it could perhaps be one of the greatest discoveries ever made. Not only that, but it could prove that what people have been seeing for over 100 years is in fact advanced aerial machines. It's important to remember though, the organisation has provided no evidence that it has these kinds of materials. This has many people questioning that Tom may have been telling the truth the whole time and that in the near future he could be releasing information about something incredible. Over the years there have allegedly been a few unidentified flying objects that have collided with our planet, and some supposed stories say that some of these materials have been collected. However, the government and researchers have denied that any UFOs have been discovered, saying that we have scoured our skies for decades and not picked up on a single life form. So my question to you guys is what do you make of Tom DeLong? And do you think this material he's talking about is genuine? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Over the years some mysterious books have been written. One of these can be found at Harvard University, and it goes by the name of Destinies of the Soul. Researchers have said that it's been housed at the library since the 1930s. It's said that Dr. Borland was given the book by a friend. It's then reported that he banned the book with skin from the body of a female patient. Further studies have suggested the patient passed away from natural causes. Bill Lane, who's the director of the Harvard Mass Spectrometry, said the following. The data makes it very unlikely this source could be anything other than human. It's the outside of this book that makes it unique. It's always been assumed this book had human skin on it, but over the years researchers have debunked some of these books, saying that instead of human skin it's actually animal skin. This one however was confirmed by experts. It's not just this book though that's been found at the Harvard Library. It turns out the employees came across three books that had strange covers. They described the books as having a smooth feeling and being a little shiny. Some describe the books as being similar to leather. It turns out though that scientists wanted to confirm what these books were made of and they decided to carry out a series of tests. After receiving the results, the scientists concluded with 99.9% .9 confidence that the binding material came from a human. It turns out that after some research these bound skin books were popular in the 17th century. They could most commonly be found on anatomical textbooks. It's also said that going back they didn't want to waste any material they were working with, so instead of things going to waste they would be used for things like books. Researchers said the books were about Roman poetry, French philosophy and medieval Spanish law. Harvard then decided to get all of the books tested, and it turns out that one of them was bound in human skin. Harvard's library isn't the only place where these types of books have been discovered. They can be found all across the world. 
However, they're getting negative attention as it's not something many have come across. As mentioned though, going back it wasn't uncommon for people to do this to Burks. Various 19th century accounts exist that state executed criminals were donated to science, meaning some of their skins would have ended up on Burks. Out in the endless expanse of space are a number of incredible and impossible to believe sites that next to no one theorised were possible before their sightings. Though these findings have made scientists question the very nature of reality, these incredible discoveries of supermassive black holes have helped us to better understand the true nature of our universe in the modern era. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has detected a supermassive black hole that has made researchers question current theories of the universe. This new report states this black hole is approximately 250 million times heavier than our sun, and it can be found at the centre of the spiral galaxy NGC 3147, and it's said to be over 140 million light years away from Earth. Incredibly, scientists have been able to observe a large accretion disk moving around the edge. What's confused scientists, however, is that based on what we currently know about black holes, this disk should not be found so close to a black hole of this size. One of the researchers said the following about the discovery. We thought this was the best candidate to confirm that below certain luminosities, the accretion disk doesn't exist anymore. What we saw was something completely unexpected. We found gas in motion producing features we can explain only as being produced by material rotating in a thin disk very close to the black hole. This discovery was published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Lead author Stefan Bianchi went on to say the following. The predictions of current models for gas dynamics in very faint active galaxies clearly failed. The disk will give scientists the opportunity to test Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Definitely seen as one of the most popular astronomical sightings and discoveries in the modern day is that of the picture taken and rendered by the Event Horizon Telescope. It used a number of different radio telescopes from around the world that helps to show in vast detail the entire movement, existence and behaviour of Einstein's theory on the existence of a singularity known as a black hole. These findings were discovered back on the 10th of April 2019, as a number of scientists came together to compile all the data received across numerous radio telescopes. After doing so, they created a comprehensive image spanning light years in every direction surrounding the black hole. The image of the black hole not only helps to confirm pre-existing theories surrounding the existence of the singularity, but proves to be among one of the largest compiled pictures of the universe that was pieced together from a collection of rendered images from other radio telescope information. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.